today I'm going to be doing like a skincare routine with... Okay, so what are we doing today? We are going to do a dermaplane with a very deep hydration so you can look young and brighter as usual. <laughs> remove like fuzzy hair from the face so it's kind of a microdermabrasion but it will give you the benefit to get rid of like a very tiny fuzzy hair and after we put a alpha hydroxy acid to make a exfoliation more complete and keep the skin looking glowing I like that <laughs> say a small blade it's a very secure kind of tool to use it's not something scary it has a very round tip which avoid some nibbing on the skin and it's very simple it just it looks like it's taking off dust off the skin but the skin will look and feel very smooth and very clean and very hydrated afterwards like fuzzy hair and it really looks like a little dust that comes off of the skin uh-huh so it's kind of like the microdermabrasion in a way no exactly but the difference that this uh, also remove like the very fuzzy hair the baby hair uh -huh. and as opposed to a lot of people think it's not going to make the hair to grow thick or uh -huh. stubborn this is a bellows hair that's uh -huh. the hair that we are born it's like since we are baby it doesn't make any difference. Okay. <music> Thank you. 
skin of course with like the movement of the blade and you can see little tiny hairs that they're like velous hairs baby hair this hair that sometimes you cannot even see but for women will make a difference if this velo hair velous hair is removed because it will not absorb the makeup when you apply makeup foundation and powder sometimes when you have a lot of very thin hair the makeup will kind of hold on this hair it can be visible depends of how the light will hit the skin so they really love the results so all of this was on my skin yes that's so crazy that's like a so this hair. is like all dirt and dead cells and everything exactly so the difference is that the microdermabrasion is going to be more of a mechanic process of rubbing the skin uh -huh. and the skin can get a little bit red like momentaneously red in the dermaplane the skin will look at regular colors, uh -huh. but of course, each treatment will be used for different needs, not one size fits all. For some, dermaplane will be better, for the one, maybe microdermabrasion will be a better choice for a treatment. So is this normal? Like, do people have this, everybody? Yes, and yeah, actually you don't have too much. Uh, some people, uh, it's more visible. It depends how they take care of the skin, if they do the correct exfoliation. So they will not have so much dead cells, but also someone with a more oily skin will tend to have more visible dead cells coming off. Uh, and sometimes can be just like the hair that creates this impression that's a lot of stuff. Again, some people have more fuzzy hair, other people don't. Would you suggest doing this in the winter or more there in the summer? Oh, year round. Oh, year round. There is no problem to do it winter time, summer time. Of course, if you are exposing to the sun, going to the beach, you don't want to do at least like four or five days after skin. If it uh, has been being exposed, it may be a little bit sensitive for any type of friction, any type of process that's going to be remove a lot of dead cells is always wait for at least like five to seven days after you come from the beach or being going to the pool on a daily basis <music>
dry? Mm-hmm. And like how long did it take? About 15 minutes. 15 minutes? So I'll probably just take a nap. Yeah. That would be really good. Cause I'm so relaxed right now. See you guys in 15 minutes. Okay, so I think the mask is dry now. Yes, now we are going to peel off this mask. Hopefully it will come on a nice big whole piece. The mask smells so good. Mm -hmm. it smells like a French perfume. Oh wow. Skin feels very nice and warm under. And as you see, there is this little bit of on this place here where the skin had a little bit of it. So it really calms the skin. Sometimes the mask doesn't come off. Oh, there's a big chunk. But that's fine. smells as rose, essential oil of rose. Very, very nice, delicate smell. It's so good. And that's the mask here. Mm -hmm. It feels very warm. This really warms the skin. Is this one of your like most popular treatments you do? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and now we are going to finish the treatment with two other uh, treatments. Includes on this one, that's the galvanic current that's going to be used to penetrate a serum. That's a serum that has vitamin E and vitamin C that's going to help to produce <music>
are the benefits of the electrical current? That's what it's called? It's galvanic current. It allows, you need the right product. The product has to be chemically balanced. Uh -huh. So the combination of the product with the right ions in the current, it will uh, allow a deep penetration of the seal but it also works better after a deep exfoliation like we did the dermaplane we did the alpha hydroxy acid first we did the mask so the skin was very well prepared so now the skin is more permeable to receive this seal inside because the current is a positive and negative electricity which uh, will connect to the cells on the skin we do also have some electricity on the skin and that's what gives the benefit it's like a very deep absorption of the product but it's not every serum the serum has to be balanced correctly to interact with the energy that the electricity is going to promote so it can penetrate and now we are going to do another modality that's called like microcurrent so we will apply a little bit more of serum. I also have to apply another product that's going to interact with the electricity that the machine will uh, give to the skin. And microcurrent, what it does, it really creates balance on the cells and creates ATP. That's the energy that we need inside the cells to keep skin health and young as we get old the skin loses like elasticity, loses collagen, but also we don't produce the same level of energy. So it will give back some energy on the cells. So the cells will work as young cells. It's kind of turn the clock on the cell. This is the conductor. Conductor gel. What does this do? It's just to conduct, I apply the serum under. This uh, liquid is just to conduct the right electricity in contact with these probes on the skin. So what does this do now? So it creates ATP, that's the energy adenosine triphosphate, the energy that we need inside the mitochondria to create, to rejuvenate the cells, to heal the skin. This is treatment, uh, you don't feel anything because the energy that this current produces is exactly the same energy that we have inside our cells on our skin. That's why it seems like nothing's going on but actually is doing a big deal of increase the energy, the health of the skin. This uh, current can be used including to heal skin that's burned or if someone has 
a surgery, plastic surgery, that's take a little bit to close, you can use. So it can decrease pain. It depends on the settings of the machine. Right now, I'm just using the energy to the level of balance in the skin because the skin will be a little bit irritated after the dermaplane. So it will definitely keep the skin that like great looking as you would have tomorrow morning if we are not doing that. relaxing for the nervous system
All right, guys, so my skin feels so soft and amazing. It feels so smooth and I'm so relaxed. Thank you so much. Welcome. Do you recommend any like tips to keep or any creams to put on? Just your regular cleanser, donor, serum, moisturized that we already talked about. So just maintain like my daily yes, routine average routine. And all year round, including winter time, you use your SPF with a protection 30. Okay. It's super necessary. Thank you again. I love it. It feels so Welcome. good. Thank you. Thank you.